The sun is finally out, so now is not the time to skimp on sun protection. Dr. Holly Phillips has some tips on how to protect your skin and keep it looking healthy all summer long. Thank you so much, Dr. Orden, and I'm thrilled to be joined today via Zoom by Olay scientist Shannon Weitz and four-time Olympian Shantae Lowe. Ladies, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Shantae, you are an Olympic bronze medalist, amazing. But you're also a married mom of three, training for your fifth Olympic Games, all while overcoming a serious medical issue. And you recently spoke about that. Let's take a look. This is a video that I wish I wasn't recording, but I felt a lump in my left breast, and I went to the doctor, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Thank God that I caught it at stage one, it's, but Please, ladies, learn how to do a self-breast exam. Go get checked. Don't think that you're too young for this to happen to you. Shantae, that's such meaningful advice. We're never too young to think about things like this. Tell us how you're feeling now and a little more about your journey since the diagnosis. Sure. In June of last year, I was diagnosed with triple negative invasive ductal carcinoma. It's a very aggressive form of breast cancer. I underwent a double mastectomy, several months of chemotherapy, but now I'm feeling great and I'm just looking forward to getting back on that podium. And we're looking forward to seeing you back up on that podium. And we know for now, Tokyo 2020 has been postponed, but did having cancer and undergoing your treatment regimen, did it affect your plans for competing at all? In some ways, yes, but I continue to train even to this day. And my main motivation is I want to inspire women to pursue their goals, even in the face of adversity. Have your priorities changed in any way? Yes, I faced many challenges and the reality is the fight has shown up on my face. So taking care of my total body health and wellness is now even more important to me. And especially when it comes to my skin health, that's why I've teamed up with Olay. Chemotherapy has made my skin extremely sensitive and I have to be careful how much time I spend in the sun and which products I use on my skin. And you're so right to be careful. Now that you're more sensitive to sunlight, it's gonna be much easier for you to develop a minor rash or even a sunburn. But we have to keep in mind, it's not just those of us with medical conditions that need to be cautious. Everyone should be very conscientious of their sun exposure when we're outdoors. Shannon, can you tell us why that is? Yeah, so our skin's outer layer contains melanin, which can protect our skin to a certain extent from UV rays. But too much sun exposure can cause sunburn and damage and even cause skin structure to break down. This can reduce skin's elasticity and cause a person's skin to age prematurely. That's right, and premature aging is exactly what none of us want. And while our skin does try to repair damage by shedding dead skin cells, as we get older, it just becomes harder and harder for the skin to repair itself as fast. We know the sun's heat can dry out areas of unprotected skin and deplete its supply of natural lubricating oils. And if our skin gets sunburned repeatedly, it can start to look dry. And that's when we see wrinkles, discoloration, and of course, an increased risk for skin cancer. So Shannon, what are your skincare recommendations? So even with people spending more time indoors these days, it's still important because you might be exposed to UV rays near a window or on a short walk outside. It's also always important to take care of your skin. And one of the best things you can do is incorporate an SPF into your skincare routine. Skin can also become dehydrated from the heat and the sweat of your training routines, right? So for someone like Shantae, she needs to be sure she's hydrating both her body and her skin. For her sensitive skin, Shantae has been using a regimen that consists of the Olay Deep Hydrating Serum and the Olay Regenerist Whips SPF 25. Got it, so two different products. Uh, can you tell us about them? So the serum helps strengthen the skin's barrier and the moisturizer with SPF is lightweight and does not irritate her skin. Both of these are available at Walgreens and Walgreens.com. So Shantae, what do you think? How have the products been working out for you? I love how the SPF doesn't leave my skin feeling sticky or greasy. And I also like how it blends easily with my skin tone. 
And one thing with SPF, we should remember if we're sweating or it's hot out, we should reapply it as often as we can. And whenever possible, wear long pants, shirts with long sleeves, wide brimmed hats to protect ourselves from the sun. Uh, plus sunglasses with UV light protection for our eyes are so important. I just wanted to thank both of you for being here with me today. And Shantae, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you. Okay. And now back to you, Dr. Orton in the studio. Thanks so much, Dr. Holly. And our entire studio audience is going home with a $40 Walgreens gift card. You get one too. Stay tuned. Lots more to come on The Doctors.